द फर्स्ट कैटेगरी ऑफ क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज कंसिडर्ड इन थोरेसिक ट्रामा टू बी लाइफ थ्रेटनिंग एंड फॉर दैट वी हैव अ कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ डेडली डजन डेडली डजन Now, when we talk about thoracic trauma, we get two kind of questions. What are the kind of questions that we get? The first category of question is, what is considered in thoracic trauma to be life-threatening? And for that, we have a concept of deadly dozen. Deadly dozen. So, what do you mean by deadly dozen? Deadly dozen is a term taken from Bailey and Love, or you can say it's a term taken from Kushiri. It's a term taken from Churchill. You will not get this term deadly dozen in books like Sabiston, in books like Shorts, in books like Mango. You will not get it in uh, any other books, even ATLS. Why? Because of the different school of thought. There are two or three controversial points also in between the ATLS and the, uh, you can say, the UK, UK books, the books which are published from UK. Because the school of thought is totally different. I will highlight it. But I love this deadly dozen. That is why I have, I'm teaching it. So deadly dozen by definition means by definition means twelve life threatening conditions. Twelve life threatening conditions. So what are the twelve life threatening conditions that we have? What are the twelve life threatening conditions that we have? So they are further divided into. Two more blocks. One is lethal six, and one is hidden six. So lethal six and hidden six. The same nomenclature, lethal six and hidden six in U.S. is known by I.L.T. and P.L.T. What are they known as? I.L.T. and P.L.T. I.L.T. and P.L.T. What do you mean by I.L.T.? It is immediate life threatening. Immediate life threatening. And PLT stands for potentially life threatening. So we have a concept of ILT and PLT. Let us see. Let us see. So this is ILT and PLT is a nomenclature which is written in ATLS, which is written in ATLS. Now let us see what are the lethal six. We have it includes it includes airway injury, tension pneumothorax. airway injury tension pneumothorax we have open pneumothorax open pneumothorax massive hemothorax massive hemothorax flail chest and cardiac tamponade cardiac tamponade So, flail chest. This is important. This is a controversy. That is why I am highlighting. Don't worry. Because ATLS considers flail chest as a part of PLT, not ILT. Let us see this concept of PLT also. We have aortic injury. Tracheobronchial injury. Tracheobronchial injury. So we have aortic injury, tracheobronchial injury, esophageal injury, esophageal injury, esophageal injury, myocardial injury, myocardial injury, pulmonary injury, pulmonary injury, pulmonary injury, and D is your diaphragm injury, diaphragm injury. 
So if you talk about this logic, we have a mnemonic also. If you see the initials, A T A M, A T O M, P D. So we have a mnemonic, atom F C and atom P D for them. This is atom F C, and this is atom P D. What are the controversial topics? This is tracheobronchial injury. So a mnemonic for them will be atom F C. atom fc and then we have atom pd atom fc and atom pd let us see let us see all of them let us see all of them one by one but before let us start with this controversy what is a controversy let us clear this off let us clear this off atls says atls says that flail chest that flail chest is plt potentially life threatening flail chest is plt this is what is atls is saying and it also says that tracheobronchial injury tracheo bronchial injury is ilt now how to believe why to believe let us see all of them yes or no apart from these deadly dozen this is not included in deadly dozen there is one more condition which is known as commotio cardiae commotio cardiae this is also considered as also considered also considered as immediately life threatening why it is considered what is commotio cardiae it is sudden disruption of electrical rhythm of heart due to blunt trauma so what is it let us write it down this is sudden disruption of electrical activity of heart so this is sudden disruption of electrical activity of heart due to due to due to blunt trauma do you know what happens in it yes why this happens this happens because there is damage to the purkinje fibers or the nerve fibers which are going to relay this now let us come back to the point let us see why tracheobronchial injury is considered as alt uh, ilt that is immediately life threatening by uh, us convention and why it is plt by uk convention 